Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calumso, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Philip Neri. And let us pray in this Mass that like St. Philip Neri, we may also find joy and share joy to others in our discipleship of Christ. Let us now call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never ceased to follow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants you raise up for yourself, graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Neri through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Come to our aid, O God of the universe. Look upon us. Show us the light of your mercies and put all the nations in dread of you. Thus, they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you, O Lord. Give new signs and work new wonders. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Give evidence of your deeds of old. Fulfill the prophecies spoken in your name. Reward those who have hope in you and let your prophets be proved true. Hear the prayer of your servants, for you are ever gracious to your people, and lead us in the way of justice. Thus, it will be known to the very ends of the earth that you are the eternal God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples were on the way going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus went ahead of them. They were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. 
Taking the twelve aside again, he began to tell them what was going to happen to him. Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and hand him over to the Gentiles who will mock him, spit upon him, scourge him, and put him to death. But after three days, he will rise. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I drink or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, We can. Jesus said to them, The chalice that I drink, you will drink, and with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today speak of the seriousness of believing God and following Jesus. In our first reading, we heard a beautiful prayer from the book of Sirach, a prayer asking God to reveal himself to the nations so that they will believe and follow him. The prayer asks God to let himself be known as God, as the true and living God, so that the knowledge of God may lead to a serious commitment to follow him. And this is also what we heard in our gospel today. Jesus talks of the seriousness of being his disciples. Jesus admits to those following him, to the twelve, what will happen to him in Jerusalem, that he will be persecuted, that he will suffer, he will be put to death, and after three days he will rise again. And Jesus tried to inculcate in the minds of his followers that if that is what will happen to him, then those who wish to follow him must expect the same. If Jesus would drink of the chalice of suffering, then the disciples of Jesus should also be willing to drink of the cup. Following the Lord is not easy. 
It is no joke. It is a serious thing. But my dear brothers and sisters, while discipleship and faith are serious things, let us not misconstrue that Christian life is a life of sadness and gloom. It does not mean that because Christianity, following Jesus, is something really serious, is no joke, then Christians should not be happy and joyful that Christians are not allowed to smile and to laugh. Sometimes we think that being serious means not smiling, not laughing, and not being happy and joyful. Kaya minsan pinagbabawal natin ang pagniti, pagtawa sa ating mga simbahan. Dahil sinasabi natin, oy seryoso sa simbahan. At kapag seryoso, nakasimangot. Kaya ang mga tao sa simbahan, lahat nakasimangot. Dahil seryoso ang pagsunod kay Jesus. Is that something right? Is seriousness really entails not being joyful? Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of St. Philip Neri. St. Philip Neri was a priest who founded an order, the Congregation of the Oratory, an order of priests whose mission is to foster the priestly spirituality and to improve preaching, foster and promote effective preaching. And St. Philip Neri really took his vocation and his mission very seriously. But his biographers would say that the holiness of St. Philip Neri, that his seriousness in following Jesus did not make him stiff, rigid, and frigid. In fact, when St. Philip Neri celebrated the Mass, it will always be lively, and he will enliven the celebration of the Mass, especially with rich homilies, homilies with rich messages and rich humor. There is even a story that during his homilies, during his talks, people will fall off their seats laughing. Nahuhulog sa mga upuan katatawa sa pakikinig sa kanya. No wonder St. Philip Neri is called the Saint of Joy. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, you can be serious and still be joyful. You can still be serious in following Jesus and still smile and laugh. And the truth is, those who take Jesus seriously are the ones who are really joyful, who could smile and who could laugh. And their joy could be shared to others. Their joy radiates. That is why even other people would experience the same joy because they are seriously following Jesus. Kapag seryoso ka kay Jesus, magiging masaya ka. Pero pag hindi mo sineseryoso kay Jesus, hindi mo mararanasan ang tunay na kagalakan. My dear brothers and sisters, we all want to be happy. We are looking for joy. And in our times, the difficult times that we are going through, 
we find reasons to laugh and even just to smile. Sa hirap ng ating pinagdaraanan, parang ang hirap ng gumiti at tumawa. At naghahanap tayo ng dahilan para maging masaya. Today, we are being invited. We are being taught an important lesson. Do you really want to be happy? Do you want to experience true and lasting joy? Then take Jesus seriously. Christ our Lord predicted His saving death and resurrection. Through Him, the suffering servant, let us bring our petitions to the Father of all mercies. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the Church may be true servants acting with the same concern that Christ showed for His followers let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the leaders of governments may exercise their power for the good of their people and avoid discord and distrust, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That we may realize that success in God's eyes is not measured by the standards of the world, but by the respect we give to our neighbor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That those who are sick may realize that their suffering, undertaken in union with the suffering of Christ, can be turned into a great blessing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may find eternal rest, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, look with compassion on the needy. Enlighten our lives with your truth and give us the grace to live out the high ideals before us, put before us by your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we ask that by the example of St. Philip, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name and the service of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Philip Neri, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Philip Neri, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you that should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Lord Jesus. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in imitation of Saint Philip, we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our Wednesday evening healing rosary for the world at 9 o'clock tonight, and our host for this evening's rosary will be the community of the Immaculate Conception Cathedral in Pasig City. And so let us once again gather as a family, as a community, and beg our Blessed Virgin Mary to intercede for us to her Son, Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.